to play some Leonard songs. Um, how many of you guys have heard me play before? A lot of you, all of you, most of you. Okay, thank you, those of you that haven't. Thank you, those of you that have. This is like awesome. Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, what I just did, by the way, it was like, just tell myself like 10 bad jokes. Go, nope, 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 nope. And then I got to the end of it, it was like, I got nothing. And then I just stared at you a little bit. So, sorry, it was like, maybe one or two of them were decent, but not, not, not nothing stood out, you know? So, um, anyway, I'm going to play uh, a couple songs from my last record uh, that came out about two years ago, um, which was, uh, I don't know what you call it. It was a concept record. Um, it was a story. What I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about why it is that we uh, hide from each other and we get so scared of letting ourselves be, be known and letting other people see who we are. And um, I wanted to look at like why, why that happens in marriages and why that happens in family. Um, being fully aware that if I actually did that, my wife and family would be really mad at me. And uh, like, you can't, it's hard to talk about that stuff, you know? And, um, and uh, so I thought, what I need to do is I need to make somebody else say this stuff. Um, so uh, I, sidebar, I am a, uh, I'm an insomniac. Um, having three children has helped with that considerably, uh, but it's still an issue. And, um, I'd, I'd gone to all these doctors and I tried all these medicines and they just are awful and they make you feel horrible even if they do work. And, um, but one, uh, what this one guy told me was to make, think of a story, like make up a story that has nothing to do with your real life that um, can kind of, uh, you can think about this every night when you lay down so you're not thinking about the things that are stressing you out and that are keeping you up. And if you keep doing this, over time it, it becomes a signal to your body like, Hey, it's time to go to sleep. And so I still do this most every night and it, it works. It's the only thing I've ever done that's worked. Um, but, and so I, at the time I heard this, I was watching uh, the, the Emmy winning Battlestar Galactica on, um, and, uh, on Netflix. And I was like, what about a spaceship? So I would just lay in bed and like play with Legos in my head essentially, just like build a spaceship. And then I put this guy in it and I was just really mean to him in the middle of the night and I would killed off his wife and I like made him this really sad, lonery dude. Uh, I don't know why, but um, it, whatever, I started writing songs about him and then um, really liked the songs and then that turned into, I invited people to Nashville and we built like a spaceship, like a movie set. I know a lot of you guys have seen it and um, uh, I think a few, maybe more than one of you came down to help build this thing and uh, it was awesome. In, in the warehouse behind this burrito place we built like the movie set of a, of a spaceship. And so um, for three or four months, I would take my daughters to school and then I would go to my spaceship and play guitar and then eat a burrito for lunch because there was snake steak grilling all day or right next to me and it smelled amazing. And then I would play guitar until dinner and go home. Uh, it was awesome. And folks from Nike found out about it and made me a spacesuit, which is the weirdest sentence, but super awesome. And uh, I have a Halloween costume for life. And... Uh, <laughs> and so I got to, what, what I could do is, um, through this guy, Leonard, I, I, the whole record is kind of his story and it's kind of him thinking through, uh, his life and who he was and, and sort of the, the poor decisions that he made and why he'd made them that brought him to a point where he would, um, take a job where he'd be alone by himself for a year. Uh, cause that just sounds miserable. So, um, so it's a lot of just him kind of reflecting on what made him who he is. I'm going to play Chris's guitar because it's so great. Um, so I haven't played this song in quite a while. I'm going to start with that. But they have the, they asked me to uh, write the lyrics um, out, for, out for them of this song because I think this is the first place I've maybe ever performed this, this song. And they have them framed on the wall back there, which is the greatest honor imaginable. And... So if I forget them, I'm just going to run back behind there and look at them and then run back up here and keep singing. Um, it's a short song, so I think I can remember it. Um, yeah. This is, uh, this is the first song. This is the day, the, the, the day that um, 
hope I have told this story well. It's been a little while since I've told it, so I hope everybody gets the idea of what I'm talking about. But this is the, the kind of the day that he leaves Earth and starts being by himself and kind of what's going through his mind. Um, Today would be the perfect... Oh, no, I don't remember. There it is. Today would be the perfect day to tell you goodbye But I've already said it now you're just a memory, a photograph I used to be. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Now I'm all alone, making lots of dough. I'm not kidding myself, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. I just wish that you could be here with me. I still sort of have a couple friends who told me I should change my plans and stick around. But I buckled my seatbelt and knew how the fly felt when the windows roll down. Now I'll make some new friends, maybe with their grandkids. That old crew will be dead, but I'll be the same old good looking man. I just wish that you could be here with me. That was a verse about the theory of relativity, by the way, which is maybe a first for all of us. sisters at the piano that brought a tear to your eye babe today i was a brush stroke on the canvas of a perfect blue sky